Yeehaw! The NRHA Futurity is considered the Super Bowl of rain. But once it ends, next year's competition begins. I've got one year to train and pick three horses. Matt Mills has one year to pick three horses out of the top five contenders in his barn. This is the road to the futurity. Summer has arrived at Ruckman Ranch. The temperature is getting warmer and the heat is on as the first official show for the prospects is just around the corner. On the last episode, Matt took the three-year-olds to the Cactus Classic for their first show experience. But with Curry and partner on their way to the first official show in San Francisco, Matt is taking the two back to Westworld one last time. Today, I got a little field trip for Curry and partner. We came down to Westworld, the local facility where we have all our horse shows at, to do a little schooling for derby horses. And uh, turned out we had a couple that uh, physically, that's, they just needed a day off. They weren't able to make it down here, so it gave a couple extra slots. So just last minute, I decided to bring Curry and partner down. It's that time of year, they're starting to, you know, starting to do the maneuvers pretty darn good. I'm going to go out here, just low, low expectations, two hands. I'm going to run him through pattern five, which has a lot of brakes in it, and uh, just see how he does. Just get him used to going in the trailer, you know, riding around, going out in the arena by himself. And, you know, like I said, not a lot of expectations for him. We'll just kind of see how he does and give me an idea of if he's gonna be a show horse or not. You know, I'm not concerned if every little piece is perfect, but I just wanna feel that he goes out there and you know, he's able to stay cool, calm, and collected out there. Right off the bat, Matt asks Curry to slow down, and he stumbles, making Matt drop his rein. Mm. Mm. But the second time around, it seems like Curry is figuring it out. Mm. Mm. Now that they're warmed up, it's time to run the pattern. Well, I think I got that figured out. We're a little over a week away from going to the first pre of the year, which is raining by the bay in Woodside, California. It's a big outdoor venue. Nice ground, pretty good ground there, a little gritty. Uh, there's 10,000 added in this level 4 futurity out there and of all the horses right now I feel like Partner and Curry are the ones that are ready to go and I don't think that really means it really isn't going to matter at all like down the road who's ready first, does it, does it factor into who's ready for the futurity in Oklahoma? Um, I, I've seen everything, I've seen some ready early and then they're not later and vice versa so uh, just right now taking it month by month these two feel like they're ready. Before taking partner to the show pen, Matt is working on his ability to slow down. Uh. 
pretty good. Kind of wanted to come out of the bridle and get ahead of me at the bottom of that circle, but I could have fixed him and kept going, but since we're getting ready to show, I want to see what happens if he does come, you know, apart just a little bit. Will he still slow down? And I mean, he slowed down so hard, you know, I felt like I was going to get whiplash, so that's a good sign. What I wanted to see today with partner and Curry was what type of bridle would I use to show them in? So with all these pre-futurities, or most of them anyway, you have a choice between two hands in a snaffle or one hand in a bridle, which obviously in Oklahoma, I'll be one hand in the bridle, but these are babies, you know, they're youngsters, you're trying to bring them along mentally. You know, I wanna win this competition, but I wanna keep these two on track more than anything. Hey, Thiago. Man, it's like, we're like a week away from leaving for raining by the bay. So you gotta go one hand in a bridle or two hands in a snaffle. I think I'm gonna try both bridles out today, a snaffle and a bridle and see. Yeah, he feels really good in a snaffle. I want you to watch and see what it looks like. Okay, cool, yeah. I mean, don't you, you know, because it feels one way sometimes. Exactly. Yeah. And looks another. Always a good idea to try. If you tell me bridle and he should have been better in the snaffle, I'm coming after you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt Mills, and I am so excited to share with you this new video series that we just finished, all on NRHA reining patterns. We start with a walkthrough. Today, I'm gonna walk you through pattern six, and then we show you how to actually prepare for each pattern. Everyone's actually read the patterns in the NRHA handbook. We're actually gonna show you visually where you should be going slow so you really understand what it is that the judges are looking for. And the other nice thing is, any subscribers to my training video page get a significant discount. So go to madmillsraining.com and I'll help take you to the winner's circle. And now, back to the road to the futurity. I tell you what, this thing feels pretty damn good in the snaffle. I, that's what I, I mean, you know, he is. He feels he better is, in the snaffle than the bridle. Yeah, he is good in the snaffle. I can't wait to get up there to that show, though. 150 degrees here and Oh yeah. I Put looked some... at 75 up there right now. That's awesome. That would be great for this three-year-olds. I like him. I, you know, I like him and his naffle better than I like uh, Curry. Uh, Curry, you well, know. He's, he's gonna be the next one I get out. I wanted to see what they were like, two versus one. Partner, I think it was a no-brainer. Ride him in the snaffle right now. He feels good in the bridle, but he doesn't feel like he does in the snaffle. In the snaffle, he's super light. Every maneuver, pretty close to effortless. Got a little work on the lead change to do. But I think I can go out there, cruise him through, get, you know, let him get that experience of showing and be really, really competitive in a snaffle. Oh. Yeah, that's really good, pretty man. Good. And that's the thing, I mean, in that turn, you can help him. Yeah. You know, and, and, and but his chin is in and he's not pulling on you and. I think there's some judges that would buy that for a plus half. Exactly. You know, soft, yeah. steppy. Yeah, very and, good. And honestly, cool I work. think in the next 10 days, exactly. I think the speed will get there anyway. Go grab Curry. Uh, there's Bonnie, she's up next after Curry. No horse show for you though, girl. You know, and we're standing here with Bonnie. The one thing with her right now that we're struggling with, and you know, the Turdy horses, it's always something. She's riding really good, but I'm a little worried that she's not eating as good as the others. We're feeding her a ton. She doesn't look bad, but she's not as fat and round as I'd like. So we've gone through everything. I've tried, you know, I've checked her teeth, we've wormed her, uh, we've had her on ulcer medication, and I'm starting to think now, I think she's just a finicky eater, so I think I need to you know, I'm going to play around with some different types of feed to see if I can find something that she likes. Gotta love Arizona, I got our misters going. 
It's a hundred and feels like 50 degrees outside. I think it's really like, let's see, what is it? 107. Woodside where we're going for the rating by the bay, 84. One of the last preparations Matt is looking to do is find the right bit for both horses. Partner is set, now it's Curry's turn. Curry, I don't know yet. Curry feels really good in the snaffle in some maneuvers, and he feels really good in the bridle and others. I'm gonna start off with the bridle. When you hear us talking about with the bridle, I'm talking like a, like a, a shanked bit, and I'm referencing riding in one hand when I'm talking about in the bridle. Snaffle's a bridle also, but when I'm, when I'm thinking snaffle, or when you hear us talking about a snaffle bit, in the Western world, we're talking about riding in two hands. He's gonna be a little trickier. I think it's gonna be more of a game time decision, which that's, both horses, I wanted to have them ready for, for either look, two hands versus one. You know, two hands, you can help them a little. Uh, if they get it a little, a little out of position, like in a rollback, let's say, or shutting off a spin, where you can you actually use a direct rein to help that horse get through. You know, ultimately, do they have to be in one hand in Oklahoma? They do but um, this is only July. Once again, Curry is showing he still has trouble on focusing on his training. If he's gonna have this type of mentality where he's just kinda not quite with me, that's gonna make me think about that snaffle a little more because I can kinda keep his attention a little better. He's starting to get that footwork better, huh, Tiago? Yeah, oh yeah, much better. He gets distracted easy. He's funny, like he's, yeah. he tricks you. You know, I thought, oh, he's just this old quiet horse all the time. Yeah, he's, uh, he's always trying to get, find a way out. Yeah, this is kind of like a, it's like a fact-finding mission for me. I'm just, I'm just trying to see what type of mentality these horses have. You know, oh. if something gets a little funny, are they gonna perform anyway? Like with partner, you know, he got a little ahead of me on a circle, but then he still slowed down good. Those are good signs. Um, those are what you need. Th those type of reactions is what you need. Raining by the bay is just days away. So Matt and the horses are working overtime. like you're real eager to come out. He's like, hang on, I work banker's hours. Burning the midnight oil until the last minute, Matt is determined to be prepared when he hits the dirt in San Francisco. And now, back to the road to the Futurity. With the team in San Francisco, the schedule for Matt and Chiago doesn't change. The day before the show, Team Matt Mills is working as long as light permits. Diamonds and Matt and a half. It's show day, 
The three-year-olds are up first in the morning, and the first of Matt's to go is Curry. On pattern fourth in the draw, no chicks left behind. Starting off with Curry right out of the gate, uh, walk in, and I spin five times. And I, I honestly, I was talking to Karen, I can't remember. She said she could never remember me spinning five times, and I can't either. I don't, I don't know that I've ever done it. The pattern calls for four spins to the right, and with the judges marking five spins, Matt's score starts with a penalty. Threw off my focus for just a second, and that's why I lost count. And as soon as it happened, I knew I did five spins. Walking in on Curry, he felt pretty good, but he didn't feel like, he gave me like that real warm and fuzzy, like he was waiting everywhere. He felt like he was just a little bit on edge. And you know, what are you gonna do? At that point, you know, it's time to school. You know, try to make it a, a positive experience for Curry because, you know, we got other shows going on down the road. Throughout the pattern, I thought he was pretty good. He felt to me like if I, if I had a state on pattern and I did really try to run him, you know, I think all the, the major boxes he checked and then he did, he ran and stopped great. I was really happy with that. You know, the only other thing with him being a stallion is if hormones are part of that at all, I don't know yet. I'm not 100% convinced on that. So I think I think we need to give it some more time. Score for no chicks left behind at Matt Mills, zero. Although Curry received an average score, this show is for Matt to find strengths and weaknesses, and he still has one more to go. A low score can put a big damper on enthusiasm but part of being a professional competitor is shrugging it off and moving on to the next one to push on and win. starts off on his first fast large circle. Suddenly, before his slowdown, partner won't slow his load. Matt rides towards the next one, and partner nails it. Now it's time to test the brakes. But when Matt gives the cue, nobody's home. And he has to pull to stop him. The second stop looks good. But partner misses the mark on his rollback. Now Matt and partner head for their third and final stop. So I came back on partner after uh, going, you know, zero on Curry. Had to shake that off, you know. I mean, as a pro, you can't hang on to that stuff. Once it happened, let it go and move on. But preparing partner, and he, he felt good. You know, he felt like I had a really good chance to go out there and do well and, and possibly win this thing today. But it's all about trying to get him ready for the big NRHA fraternity at the end of the year. You know, one, on one hand, I guess it's a good thing because uh, I've been consistent. They both feel the same way, but um, I didn't get the result we were looking for, so therefore we need to change, you know, change the way we prepare them for the next time. The first show is in the books. Now it's time to head back to the ranch and get back to work because there's still a long haul ahead on the road to the futurity. Don't miss next week's episode of The Road to the Futurity.